Hey y'all. Um, I've been thinking about spiritual people, new age people, and what they sell. And I've just been questioning, as I do everything else, um, we have to question everything. It's important, and we have the right to question spirituality. We have the right to question spiritual teachers. We have the right to question spiritual teachings, uh, which are all just man-made stuff, you know, just man-made philosophies and uh, information that's, that is man-made. Um, who's to, to say that any spiritual teaching, any, any teaching is the absolute truth? I mean... You know, whether it's chakras, the belief in chakras or aura, who's to, I, you know, I'm guilty of doing chakra work, aura work, but who's to really say that that's real? It's like, if someone believes in chakras and they join a spiritual organization and that spiritual organization is based on sales and they have workshops on chakra healing or something, and you believe in chakras, then, oh my God, you're, you're the chosen one. Now you get to do the, the chakra workshop because you believe in it. It's like, I'm questioning, is, is this all just another religion or another belief? The belief in chakras, the belief in karma, and just all these various spiritual topics, past lives, you know... If you take a past life, for example, it's how do you how do you actually know that it's actually real? It's it's logically, reasonably hard to tell. Emotionally, you would people would love that though. Oh, I I I died in you know I, I died in a accident or something, and oh that just makes me cry. No wonder I'm so fucked up or whatever. It just I, I can't help but find the the comedy in spiritual people i don't know if it's just me but it's it's just a comedy to me really it's it's just you know i i just i guess i just have a problem with not to have a problem but i just really question spiritual people i've been around many spiritual people from whatever, yoga instructors to entrepreneurs to heal healers, you know, another another concept of healing and, you know, oh, I'm, a, I'm an empath and I just need to heal. And it's just, it's like another religion. When I, when I question it, it's like new age spirituality is like another belief system, you know. And I've seen spiritual people, they're not perfect people. I've seen their weaknesses. I've seen their need to talk to a therapist. Um, and I've seen the darkest parts of spiritual people. Spiritual people can be assholes. I've, you know... Um, they can be assholes. And it's funny because a lot of spiritual people, it's, it's like just because you're spiritual doesn't mean, if you're an asshole before you're spiritual, you're still an asshole. No matter how much work you do, you're still an, an asshole, you know. And... Um, another thing I would like to share is that um, a anarchist named Mark Pascio makes a good point. Um, when he meets spiritual or new age people, he asks them if they believe in government. Because if you look up the root word of government, it's like to control, basically. And more specifically, it's like mind control. <laughs> 
So a lot of new age people will say, yeah, I believe in government, you know. Well, I, I can't say that because I haven't asked them. I haven't asked a lot of new age people myself, but according to someone else, when they ask new age people, they, they tend to believe in government. In other words, they tend to believe in mind control, <laughs> you know, and it's like, I, it's sad, it's just sad how it's, how asleep we are, um, I, I would advise people to just guard, when it comes to spiritual organizations and people, just guard your mind with your life, okay, because it's the most precious thing you have, and don't let other people get inside of it, because, uh, there's spiritual parasites out there, and, <sighs> Uh, basically, uh, people who are very wounded, who are <clears throat> in spiritual positions, and um, sometimes, sometimes their shadow is still there, is still there, is still repressed. Um... You know, you have Catholic priests who are raping children. It's the same kind of thing. It's a spiritual... We have to be careful because this, the spiritual ego will put you up on a pedestal, on a throne. And uh, meanwhile, there's people, children being raped every day. People being bullied every day. And they're sitting there in lotus position. And people are being bullied. People are being killed. And there's people who need resources right now. And they're busy bashing other people who aren't spiritual or whatever. It's just... Doesn't that sound like religion to you? Like a guilt-based belief? I mean... Many spiritual people who are so perfect now they they once were not perfect they once uh were very depressed and almost suicidal you know um i just i'm just questioning spirituality i'm questioning uh you know all these beliefs the law of attraction and like everyone is just such a robot. They're like, yeah, yeah, the law of attraction is is real. I, like, yeah, it's, it's it's just like in a brainwashed voice, you know. It's just it's scary to see people that are like, oh, we were in past lives together. It's like there's no questioning, you know. And that's the danger of spirituality and of beliefs and of, of anything, any information is when you don't question it, you just. Oh, that sounds nice. So I, I will just believe in chakras because it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I can get more energy. And uh, it's something I'm really passionate about. I'm really passionate about questioning spiritual people. I, I don't know what it is. It's just from my experiences, it's... Um, I feel like I've seen the worst in spiritual people. Um, and I'm saying that out of love, uh, not out of judgment. Um, I've seen people just do silly things, just things that are fine, but, um, you could do what you want to do. So you could do whatever the hell you want to do. Say your mantras, uh, do your yoga, whatever, but, and you could share how it helps you, but... Um, are you being an example or are you expecting other people to believe what you believe? And are you, are you expecting people to not question you? Because believe me. There are many doubters of spirituality out there. And there's people who feel the same way I do, that they question religion, they question spirituality, 
they question the new age and um i i read spiritual things but to me the only spiritual thing is shadow work facing yourself and um um living in the moment my spirituality is just living in the moment uh, i will to be honest that's my spirituality is is living for today um without hope that things that living for today will bring any kind of security or comfort so thank you